Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a vlog. So I just have some things that I need to do today and some PR stuff I need to get through. I have a try-on portion for today's video. And yeah, I'm just gonna kind of bring you through my day, I guess. I want to very quickly address my last video. I uploaded a haul and there was obviously some conversation formulated in the comments and some assumptions made about my beliefs. And I think it's really unfortunate that people cannot just agree to disagree. And I think it's very unfortunate that so many people choose to be part of the cancel culture and decide to just cancel people really quickly based on one video, one sentence, one comment, one mistake. Like. We are all human. I think it's really unfortunate because a lot of the time social media influencers are considered fake or they only share the good things or there's their, that whole stigma around that. And for the influencers who do not do that, it's almost like then they're the ones that get canceled or those are the ones that get just so much backlash about things that we say or do or the way that we do something. Um, or the way we feel about something, our own, we get shamed for our own opinions. So my last video, I had mentioned that I do not agree with all of the decisions that Target has made in the recent past. In more words, it may be different wording, but that's what I said. And I had so many comments assuming that I did not agree with gay marriage, that I do not agree with gay pride and that I'm against pride merchandise and all of that, which is 100% not the case. Like. I, I personally don't agree with the Tucket swimsuits for kids, and I don't agree with the bandage bikini tops for kids. I have seen with my own eyes videos of people shopping at Target showing the Tucket swimsuits, showing the bandage tops in children's sizes. I saw it from my own eyes. There's a video that's floating around out there that people keep reposting, but then of course it keeps getting deleted. So anyway. That's where I stand. The fact that I still choose to shop at Target is because I do believe in second chances. I think that they made a mistake. It is what it is. Um, I don't feel the need to just cancel Target immediately because of that, um, especially because they did take everything off the shelves. I think they took a hint. Like it was pretty clear that they took a hint. I think it's unfortunate instead of like addressing it that they are trying to kind of cover things up. Um, okay, but today's vlog. I want to start off by making a soup because I had so many veggies that I needed to get rid of in the fridge. So I cut up some, this was last night, I cut up potatoes, carrots, zucchini, summer squash, and peppers, and maybe I should throw an onion in here. I don't know. And then I shredded up a rotisserie chicken and threw that in here. And then I took the rotisserie chicken and I boiled it to make a homemade broth. So I literally just threw it in some water and boiled it. So I'm gonna combine everything into the crock pot and just let it simmer all day. I cannot wait. This is my first crock pot meal of the year and I'm so excited because I love cooking in my crock pot in the fall and in the winter. It just makes the house smell so yummy. So I didn't measure anything. Like I said, I just had some veggies to get rid of. So I just like cut up what I had. Oh, and asparagus. I knew there was another one in there. I have some organic minced garlic. So I'm gonna have a little hefty dollop of that in there. Oh, it actually smells so good though. I think I'm just gonna scoop some of it in there. Then I have some organic chicken broth. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt, some oregano, I don't know. So, oh. this is how it's looking. Chicken, asparagus, potato, carrots, peppers, garlic, chicken broth, salt, pepper, oregano. Looks really good. So I'm just gonna honestly let this simmer all day, I think on medium heat, I think. All right, I need to make some breakfast. I'm super hungry. I did legs at the gym this morning and I've been fasting from 10 at night to 10 in the morning. So it's 10, 11 and I'm like, time to eat. And honestly, the reason I've been fasting is because it's been helping a ton with my blow. Like I really haven't felt bloated much at all since I started doing that. 
So definitely not for everybody. I never thought I would be someone who was fasting, but the only way it works for me is doing it 10 to 10 because I'm sleeping for most of it. So um, yes, I'm hungry in the morning. Yes, sometimes I'm hungry at the gym. I do um, my Organifi Green Juice with my ProMix pre-workout before the gym. So technically it's like not totally fasting because I think you're only supposed to have water, but I have to have that to go to the gym. Like I think I would pass out if I didn't. So I need to get these in the air fryer. These sausages, these El Fresco breakfast sausages have been my favorite. There's like a country style one, not my favorite at all. The apple maple is my absolute favorite. It's so good. This is wild blueberry with Vermont maple syrup. Never tried these ones, but uh, I feel like it's gonna be good. I'm gonna throw two of these in the air fryer for five minutes at 400. I want three of them, but I'm gonna do two because I think I'm gonna be too full if I do three. I put my soup on high, so I put it in the uh, crock pot on high, and I'll just keep an eye on it, and then if I need to turn it down later, I will. Good culture cottage cheese. I'm gonna do one scoop in my eggs, but I need to eat some first. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So I like to scramble it in my eggs, just like one tablespoon with two eggs. And then I'm also going to have a muffin, banana muffin. These are the Simple Mills banana muffins. They're really, really good. So the banana muffins I think are our favorite. I'll probably switch to the pumpkin ones here soon just to feel festive in the fall, but the banana ones are really good. I add, I make them exactly according to the back of the box and then I add one banana and a pinch of salt and it is literally so good. For my coffee, this one's my favorite. It's the Nature's Promise Organic Cold Brew Coffee. I will say this is not the most consistent though. Like sometimes it tastes a little bit different than other times. Like it's a little bit stronger or something. So I don't know if it's because it's organic coffee beans, if it's harder to be consistent, but I also have this one in the fridge that I need to get rid of. Both are unsweetened, so. And then Chobani Creamer is my favorite. I usually just get like the sweet cream one, but pumpkins in seasons, so. A little bit of that. Mmm, perfection. All right, so there is my breakfast. I cannot wait to devour this. I'm trying to get the camera set at a good place. Um, so I got a new box in from Whiskey and I wanna thank them for gifting these items to me because I've worked with them before and I love their activewear. I think they're very unique because it's kind of activewear that not only do you wanna to wear to the gym, but then you also wanna wear all day afterwards because it's just so cute. It's kind of like elevated gym wear in my opinion and the fabric is incredible. The other sets that I own from Whiskey are like my go-to if I want like a good athleisure look but I want to be so so comfortable but still look and feel really cute and put together. Really excited to show you guys what I got in this box. I did already open it because I'm so impatient and I have a coupon code for you guys as well that I will share at the end of the try-on portion for this. First set that I got is this little long sleeve uh, crop with these shorts. There are cups in this. The fabric is buttery, buttery soft, but thick and compressive. And this color is absolutely stunning. I love that it has the whiskey logo on the back in that metallic gold. I just think this is gonna be ridiculously gorgeous. And then to pair with the top, I got these little biker shorts. So they came out with an entire line that includes these little like laser cutouts, which I think are so cool. Again, so unique and they're done like really well. There's almost like a panel in here. So it's not just like a laser cutout through the fabric. There's actually something to like reinforce the fabric. Really excited to try that little set on. I'm obsessed with that color. Speaking of color, I had to pick up one of their sets in this hot pink color because holy smokes, it is so beautiful. So again, it's got the laser cutouts. This one's like a one shoulder sports bra, which I absolutely love. So not only does it have the cutouts, but it has this cute little like overlap detail in the back. It's got the seams in the front, the pads for support. And I find whiskey pads make the girls look the best. I was gonna say they make the girls look so good, but they honestly make the girls look the best of any sports bra I've ever tried. So thank you, thank you for that. 
Again, whiskey logo on the back. So beautiful, guys. It's just so beautiful. And all of these come in like multiple colors. So but I got the laser cutout leggings to match and I love these. So something I really like about these is the front is almost like an extra compressive kind of fabric. Like it's just a little bit more structured and then the back is like their normal buttery double layered stretchy fabric. So I feel like these are going to be amazing on the lower belly. Like I just feel like these are going to be so flattering and they're just, they're so soft. Again, they have that reinforcement on the little cutouts. So they're not going to look all crazy on you and the cutouts do wrap around the side. So really excited to try those on. And then lastly, I got a basic black set. Again, just those same leggings with the little cutouts, probably hard to see in this color. To go with that, I love this top so much. It looked so beautiful on the model. It's like a little mock neck sports crop. And again, it has the built-in bra, the pads, everything. So you don't need to wear anything underneath it. Beautiful little like cutout in the back with the whiskey logo. It's just gorgeous. This is something I would wear with jeans and sneakers. Even, let's try this stuff on him. I am not even close to being okay over this set. You guys, this is so cute. It's so flattering, it's so comfortable. The comfort is 10 out of 10. Like truly just buttery soft, second skin type of material. And it's compressive like I mentioned, so it's not that fabric that's like it's so comfy, but it's see-through or it's so comfy, but it's showing everything. Like I really, I mean, I'm in the black, so we'll definitely see with that pink color, but it's a really smoothing fabric and I absolutely love the cutout design. I feel like from afar, it really just looks like a print and you almost can't tell that it's actually like real cutouts until you get up close, but I really, really love it. I feel like this is a really nice breathable material. I love the length of the leggings. The way that they fit is just perfection. The back is gorgeous. I love the cutout detail and I just think this is absolute 10 out of 10. I have no words. The color is perfection. The fit is perfection. Comfort, 12 out of 10. These sets, you guys, are just the type of sets that make you feel cute, make you want to go to the gym. Again, I was worried about this color and it being kind of showy or see-through and it doesn't seem to be at all so so impressed you guys i'm very very impressed i love the cutouts and all the details like look how cute the back is gosh i just love it i was not lying but this bra is lying because my girls do not look like that the color is out of this world like i absolutely love the tone of this color i'm so into neutrals I know colors are in, but I'm just always living in my neutral era. These leggings are super cute as well. This little V is actually very flattering. I don't always love the V uh, like crossover bands, but I do really like this one. I love the way that it fits and where it falls. So it just has like the little saddle cutouts coming down the front of the leg, nothing in the back. So comfortable, flattering. It's the same material as the other two. So it's very like smoothing, stretchy, buttery, second skin material. I don't know how else to sell you guys on these pieces. They're just so good. I feel like they speak for themselves. I'll drop my 15% off code here on the screen along with down below with links and everything. Um, if you guys are interested, highly recommend checking out Whiskey Active Wear. I really feel like you will not be disappointed. All right, now I want to share a couple new pieces that I ordered from Abercrombie. Hopefully I'm holding the camera still enough. It's actually really hard and it's super touchy. So I'm still in the process of like figuring it out. But anyway, I got these jeans in a size 25 curve love. These are the 90s relaxed jeans and I love these. Look at the detail on the front. How freaking cute. I don't know if I want to swap out the curve love for the regular because these are a bit of a looser fit. I don't know, I kind of feel like I have a lot of fabric going on here, but I have these in the 24 in like the brown color and they do the same thing. Like I think it's just kind of part of like the look cause I do feel like they fit me really well. And I don't know if the regular size would like fit my bum cause I feel like I'm filling these out. So I don't know, I absolutely love them though. I love that little detail in the front. I think these would be so cute styled. A lot of different ways you could do them casual or more like, I don't know, with like a strappy heel and little silk blouse or something. I think this would be so cute. And then on top, I have this gorgeous waffle knit uh, long sleeve. It's like a huge bat wing sleeve top. The only reason I may not keep this is because it is really, really boxy. Um, I'm gonna tuck it so you guys can see. 
really boxy. So I don't know, it's just like a lot of material to kind of tuck in. And even like when I front tuck it, it's just kind of too flary in the back for me. So I would want to tuck the whole thing in. So I don't know, I just don't know if I want to fuss with that. Like I, I want to love it and I do love it, but I almost wish it was either cropped or that it just like tapered a little bit more here so that I had less to figure out at the bottom. I'm gonna try to film in here because even though it's a mess, I feel like you're gonna be able to see the detail better. This top is beautiful. It's got this beautiful lace cutout detail going on at the bottom. It's like a really thin kind of cotton material, beautiful detail at the top. It's got the balloon sleeves with that lace detail going all the way down the sleeve as well. Little button at the wrist, button at the back of the neck. It's cropped, it's super flattering though, like just really cute and well done. It is a boxier top, but I kind of like that sometimes as long as it's cropped. I think it looks a lot more expensive, like something you'd find at Free People or something. All right, next I have this oversized sweatshirt. You guys already know Abercrombie sweatshirts are hands down my favorite. They're the gooeyest, yummiest, softest, stretchiest, just like the best sweatshirts in my opinion. So I grabbed this one. It's like a racing sweatshirt. I honestly don't even know who this is. <laughs> but I loved the heather gray and the graphic on the back. I just thought it was so cute. I did size up in it and I I think I think it's perfect. I don't know if I want to size up one more, but I actually really like it with these jeans. Like I feel like with a little crossbody bag worn just like this with some sneakers, it would be so cute. I love the oversized baggy on baggy right now. So yeah, I think that would be really cute. So I feel like this size might be good. I don't want to go like too oversized, especially if I do want to wear it with jeans. Like I kind of like where this falls. So I think I'm going to keep this size. So yeah, I love it. Okay, not that I would necessarily wear this together, by the way, my hair elastic snapped, so this is what we're working with. If you're curious on how I got these curls, I did just film a reel and TikTok, and I'm gonna post it today, so that will be live by the time this video goes up. But uh, yeah, not that I would style these together, but I've been wanting a silk skirt with a slit for a while now, and it's been kind of challenging to find the right one, and I think I may have found it. I think this is so beautiful. I love the little bit of gathering here on the side. I think it's really flattering. It also has a stretchy panel in the back, which makes it really comfortable around your waist. I do need to steam it, so I think it, I don't know, it's not really doing it a lot of justice without it being steamed, but I think this one's definitely a keeper. And then this t-shirt, I got in a size large, and I kind of got it for hubby, I kind of got it for me. I have it brought tucked right now, but it's just like a big oversized t-shirt again, Abercrombie t-shirts um, are just one of my go-tos. I love the graphics, the colors, the way they feel like they feel like they've been worn and washed a million times, and I love that about them. So I keep, it says Yellowstone on it. I love the color. I bought it for my hubby, but I'll probably be borrowing it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna run through this stuff quickly because my camera battery is on like half percent or half battery, whatever. And um, I need to go get Knox soon and we have an errand to run and yada yada. So I have some Ipsy boxes here. What else do I have? I don't know, I have some Ipsy boxes. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys this bag that I just ordered from Walmart and just got in because it's so cute. Look how freaking cute this is. I'm not exactly sure how the chain's supposed to go, but I love it so much and I cannot believe it was from Walmart. So it comes with that bag and then it also comes with this bag, which you could take this chain off of and attach. So you have like a little clutch bag. You can come in. Did you, you hear me talking to myself? It's all right. Go ahead, what do you do? Oh, what is that? It's from Walmart. Isn't it cute? It is cute. I just got it for my girls weekend. It's so cute. It's just from Walmart though. It's like a cheapie. I know, but it looks cute. I know, I agree. And it kind of came with like all these little bags inside. I was just discovering. See, people will love that. Yeah. Yeah, that's freaking adorable. Thanks. Your thing is stained. What is? Your, um, your shower thing. Awesome. That's Perfect. Not coming. Good. Great. Awesome. It's our hard water probably, huh? No, it's the, it's the brat. It's the unit. Cool. Perfect. 
Thanks for the info. I'm gonna go to the other bathroom. Don't come back unless you have something nice to tell. Okay, okay. That's the woman who cleans our house. She's literally awesome. Um, we started having her come help every um, other week, like a couple months ago, and it's been life changing. She gets to all the things that I just would never get to. I can like keep up with just the basics, wiping things down the floors, you know, whatever, but deep cleaning our showers, wiping all the windowsills and the trim and like all that, I'm just not able to get to. And then they just drive me nuts because I'm like looking at the trim and it's just, it haunts me. So it's been the best money spent. Um, yes, love this bag. So you can change out the straps however you want and use this. And then it also comes with a little coin purse as well. So freaking cute. I'm gonna start opening my Ipsy BoxyCharm I still don't quite understand what they did, but they like combined. So I'm gonna go through these, like I said, pretty quick. So there's different size boxes that you can get. I think there's like three different um, like subscriptions that you can get, but I love getting these. I just think they're a nice treat every month and it gives you a way to like try out different makeup. If you like sample sizes, get the sample size monthly subscription, which is this right here. Comes with a cute little bag every month or if you like full size products, you can opt out for one of those boxes. First thing in here is the Ultra Repair Cream. This is the intense hydration for dry, patchy skin. First Aid Beauty. I really like First Aid Beauty, so excited to try that. We also got a brown liner. This is by the brand Koki. It has a little elephant on it. It's kind of cute branding. This is the Hey Honey Show Your Glow. A uh, golden honey beauty mask made to smooth, firm, and hydrate your skin. The Benefit Professional um, Super Setter. So this must be is this a setting spray. I did not know they made a setting spray. Definitely will give that a try. Biome Brightening Ample. I don't exactly know how to say that. A little brightening serum. Okay, so this is the full size box. So I see in here the keys. Soul Care um, Comforting Tinted Lip Balm. Ooh. That's really pretty. This is the Dermal Actives Energizing Body Lotion. Mm, that smells really nice. So this is a Laura Geller eyeshadow palette, I believe. That's what it looks like. It says all the must-have shades, six matte eyeshadows, two highlighters okay this is a really pretty everyday palette like i feel like that's a really great palette next thing in here i see is from tarte i can't turn around this is the man eater waterproof mascara let's see what this is all about mm. i don't usually like the plasticky ones but i would be open to trying it and i do always think it's nice to have a waterproof mascara on hand um, and then this is the Danessa Merix Beauty Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil. Eye pencil. Interesting. This bag's really cute. It says look good, do good. It's got like a little floral print. Okay, cute. Little travel or um, sample size blush and highlighter it looks really really pretty the professional good cleanup pore purifying foaming cleanser hmm hey honey come clean mineral face scrub i'm intrigued by this hey honey brand i don't know why i just like their branding this is the i am beautiful real hero lengthening mascara length and, length and volume mascara Another little plastic wand. Maybe I need to give these a try, the plastic wands. Maybe I need to revisit that because it seems to be common and like a lot of people like them. And then this is the Shades in Shades by Shan, the gel eyeliner. It's like a good basic black liner. I prefer a pencil like this a lot of the times. It just gives you like a softer look. All right, and then in the final box, um, I have the, the Ole Henriksen. Is that how you say it? Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. Ooh, love the sound of that. It's like, ooh, feels really moisturizing. I will definitely give that a try before I go to the gym tomorrow. I feel like that might be nice just to like pop under your under eye whether you're wearing makeup or not. Oh, Drunk Elephant. This is the O, o Blow Blues Rosy Drops. 
I have not heard about these. Omega fatty acids. I love Drunk Elephant though. Full size product. So it says to apply to your cheeks or for an all over rosy glow. So it's like a... Oh my gosh, this is going to be the prettiest... Can you see that? The prettiest little like tinted blush. Again, definitely going to try that out. Maybe for the gym in the morning. That is so beautiful. Next in here is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. Definitely some darker shades. This might be good to bring to the concert though this weekend. We're going to the Machine Gun Kelly concert, which I'm so excited about. This is the Ciate Smiley Lip Mask 2-in-1 Everyday Balm and Mask. Um, adorable. Literally so cute. And then lastly in here is the Pacifica um, Vegan Collagen Recovery Body Butter. It's in like this beautiful glass container that feels really nice. Mm, smells very like a, like a rose, like kind of strong florally smell, but nice. All right, so that is what I got in my Ipsy boxes this month. Now I'm going to open my Grande Cosmetic box that they sent me. So Grande, uh, the Grande Lash Serum is what I use on my lashes every night before bed and that's what gets them thick and long and just like healthy looking. So I really, really love that stuff. But they sent me a little PR box which includes the Grande Gummies, which let's give these a try. I really should not be using my teeth. How many can I have? Two. Mm. Oh, they're really good. Cute little hearts. Those are really yummy. And no bad aftertaste. They also sent over their hydrating lip plumper. I've been using this every night before bed. I really like it. You just pump it up here. It dispenses the product, which is just like a clear gloss. You get a slight but very like subtle and I would say like gentle, especially compared to most plumpers, gentle kind of like prickly sensation in your lips for a couple minutes. And then after that, they just look nice and plump and like I don't know, for me, I don't have that much color in my lips. This is like all lip color. So it really makes my lips like, it brings out the natural color of my lips, I should say. It makes them look more plump. Based on studies when used two times daily for 30 days, it actually is supposed to improve your lips over time and give them a more like full plump look or appearance. They also sent over this little eyelash uh, separator. I was gonna say like brush, but it's actually called a separator. That's not coming out. But this looks really nice to Home your lashes out. I might get a little obsessive with this though. I'm gonna have to roll all of that up in a blanket after because I'm not gonna have time to take care of it. And if Elodie sees any of that, she will sit in here in silence and be in heaven. And then I'll be like, where's Ellie? And I'll come in and she will have all the products. Oh, her face. And lastly, they sent over the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. This is what I use every single night. And to me, it's just hands down my favorite for the price for the result and I don't have any irritation. I haven't had any redness. I don't like, I don't know. I just don't have any bad side effects from using this. So this is my baby. The days are not long enough, you guys. Oh. I'm like frantically trying to make the kids beds because, <sighs> but it's late and that's where I'm at, so. Kids are finally settled down, watching a show downstairs, so I'm gonna try to make these beds really quick. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air. Like a blazing flare To stay cause the flames will burn us I thought you were the one for me That's why I gave you everything Held you close by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me You kiss your head when you cried for me Hold your hand while the pain was over What do you need, honey? I can't hear you Okay, babe, it's kind of late for that, love. 
I'm making the beds right now, sweetheart. You can, babe, you can have a cheese stick or a granola bar or something. We're not making oatmeal right now. It's almost time for bed. It's really late, baby. I'm trying to make the bed. It's very late. If you want a granola bar, you can have a granola bar. You guys, I'm gonna lose my mind. Kyle's on a military trip and I'm just like, I'm tired, I'm tired. What, baby? Yes, you can have a granola bar. Then we're all done with the snacks. Please close the doors. I also sliced my finger trying to cut their cucumbers. So my finger is so sore and making these beds is like torture. Migraine. I had a migraine on Friday, and um, oh, that feels good. I had a migraine on Friday, and I haven't had one in forever, like since right after I had Ellie. Yeah, and I ended up, I was like, I need to lay down. I like lost my vision and everything. So I laid down, I set an alarm for, sorry, you can't see me at all. Um, set my alarm for 30 minutes, and I woke up two hours later. I was exhausted. Looks like somebody's standing over in that doorway, but it's me. Um, yeah, and I just feel like I've kind of had like a mild headache ever since that migraine and it's happening. I think I'm just run down. Kyle's been gone. He was on like a two week trip and I couldn't really say anything. Now that it's like at the end of the trip, he'll be home pretty much by the time this goes live. Before I forget, the veggie soup came out bomb. Even the kids each had a bowl and they loved it. Um, it was really, really good. I honestly, I just cooked it on high almost all day until like 4.30 um, and then I turned it to low and cooked it on low until like 6.30 and it was so good. I've got to do the dishes, pack the kids lunches, they're finally in bed. All right, for Knox's, he doesn't actually have lunch at school. He has it at the daycare. So she feeds him lunch before he gets on the bus. And then at school, they have a snack time. But he's been like really hungry lately. And I never know what he's going to feel like. And I don't want him to like go hungry during the day. Like just in case he doesn't like what they're offering at daycare for lunch or whatever. So I kind of overpack snacks for him. But I packed a Simple Mills um, banana muffin, the ones I was talking about earlier, a handful of grapes. Packed him one of these. These are so good. We get these at Sam's Club. Some applesauce and then some pistachios, the chili roasted. He loves pistachios. For Ellie, she actually has lunch at school. So I did a little turkey wrap. This is on the angelic um, whole grain wraps. They're nut free. They can't have peanuts or tree nuts or anything like that at school. So definitely makes it um, tricky to pack lunches. Anyway, turkey roll with mayo, just turkey and mayo, cheese stick, grapes, applesauce and some baked chips. So I just put Love is Blind on. I saw that there were new episodes. So I'm gonna watch that and fold all of this laundry. I just <laughs> made the bed and somebody made themselves comfortable. I don't know why it looks so yellow in here, but um, yes, laundry time. And it's 9.30. <laughs> to get ready for bed. I had a bunch of work stuff that I wanted to do. I'm in the process of potentially, very likely, hiring an assistant and I'm really excited. I wish she was on boarded already because <laughs> um, I really could have used her this week, but I'll share more about that when things are 
further along and finalized um, but I'm really really hopeful and uh, anyway I wanted to review some stuff involving that process I'm really excited to try this and then I didn't get to my emails at all today I didn't get to respond to any comments or anything like that either and tomorrow I have to edit all day so I'm just gonna try to bang it all out tomorrow and pack tomorrow for our trip. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, that is where I will be sharing a bunch of clips from our girls weekend and the Machine Gun Kelly concert and all that. So if you're interested in following along for my weekend, then follow me over on Instagram, but I'm gonna get ready for bed. So first, I need to floss. I got this t-shirt in the men's section at TJ Maxx. It's like an extra large, I think. It's so comfy. So I get almost all my skincare from the Cosmetic Enhancement Center in Portland. They recommended like a skincare regimen to me and it has done amazing things for my skin. I have a link their site down below where you can view all of these products with the exception of this one which is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar, Wa Lipicar Wash Lipicar, Lipicar Wash Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. So I use that to kind of like remove most of my makeup and then I go in with my skincare which I'll tell you what I'm using as I go. I go in with the Zio Skin Health Exfoliating Cleanser. This stuff is life-changing, I swear. This is literally best face wash I've ever used. It's very pricey, like this skincare line is very pricey, but a little bit goes a long way, and the results that you see in your skin, for me, have just been unmatched, so it's like, once you start, you can't go back. You have been warned. <laughs> this is actually not from the Cosmetic Enhancement Center. I got this in uh, one of my Ipsy boxes, but it's just this Ultra Tonic Watermelon Extract Facial Toner by, by Do of the Gods. And I really like this brand. I kind of use it to like remove any makeup left over and just kind of hydrate and even out my skin tone. All right, this has also been a huge game changer for me. This is the Maestro Active Balance Serum by Skin Better. This is another expensive brand, but so worth it. One pump of this all over my face has evened out my skin tone like immensely. Is that the right word? immensely and my skin has just like completely changed if you guys can see like how nice and even my skin tone is like for me that's really good i do have some darkness here in between my brows because i have like an ingrown hair and every time that happens it gets red for like weeks after then i go in with the zeo skin health retinol skin brightener i do one pump of that and I also do a pump of the Zio Skin Health Daily Power Defense. Kind of mix up that concoction. And apply all over. Then I go in with the IMAX Alpha Ret Overnight Cream Skin Better. It's like an eye cream. And I just do like a little tiny bit. under my eyes. I know you're just a bat. I still swipe. But I'm not really applying any pressure. Like, I'm not pulling my skin. Then going in with my Grande Lash MD Lash Serum. I'm only crouching down like this so you guys can see. I don't like <laughs> normally while I'm doing my 
skincare routine. I should have brought my bigger tripod in here, but I didn't. On my lips, I have absolutely been loving this Fresh Sugar Mango Hydrating Lip Balm. So hydrating, it's so nice before bed. I'm already like hitting pan on it. It's so good. Like I mentioned earlier, I have been using the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I just do two pumps of that. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of what my fresh face looks like. This spot still on my neck will not tan, no matter what I do. So I always have like a pat tree. <laughs> Anyway, time for bed. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'm looking over here because that's where the viewfinder is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.